This is a special episode of What's in Your Cart. This is my club car 500, electric. It's wonderful, it's fast. Gotta have water. I don't drink coffee. I drink a lot of water. We also have uh, tape measure here so I can get some green speeds. See the distance of that. Keep a little probe here, just stab in the greens. See what the soil's doing. What else do I got here? Gotta have a mag light. Keep a little putter, putt around sometimes. And of course back there is my step meter. I also have, I don't know, about 40 or so palm fronds. That's what a little storm will do to you. It's my second load. We've had quite the wet August this year. 16.4 inches of rain for August. We normally average 12 inches. Um, plus add that tropical storm of Gordon to us and we got one wet golf course. That's the reason we started out the week, cart path only. We'll see if it dries up and uh, we can get some golf carts out there at least 90 degrees. Uh, we'll see how the weather continues. That being said, uh, since we don't allow carts on the course, that also puts us behind of getting equipment out there on the course. The challenge that we're having is being able to mow these fairways and roughs and keeping those heights down. As it dries out, we'll get some equipment out there on the course to mow. Uh, mowing is one of those important things to help prevent weeds from popping up and spreading. Our team's having a challenge right now of keeping up with the weed pressure. Uh, crabgrass is, is killing us right now. One technique we've been using in the mornings is by using straight salt. It only works in the morning when we have a little bit of dew and it's a little bit moist, especially good on the crabgrass. We'll just sprinkle a little bit of salt on the weed and the weed will end up burning up. Uh, here's kind of what it looks like after a treatment. So you may see a lot of these spots that are white and yellowish uh, throughout the golf course. That's us killing the crabgrass with uh, primarily using just straight salt, just like you would in your uh, kitchen table. Once again, thank you for watching. Stay tuned next week and we'll continue to give you updates on our golf course maintenance here at Wilderness. Take care now. Bye.